All right, keep that energy up for an old friend of mine. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm really excited to see him. Donald Gibson, everybody. I went to McDonald's. I ordered a 10-piece chicken nugget meal. That's not a specialty item. It's got a picture on the wall with a Sprite. <laughs> but my nuggets were delivered to me as follows. Two packs of four-piece nuggets and two loose nuggets <laughs> jammed into my fries. This is, this is it. This is what happens, America. <laughs> when you stop paying attention, you turn your head, you get distracted by your precious Mark McGuire home runs. <laughs> your prince in the revolution. I went on vacation. I forgot my swimming trunks. <laughs> but I had it covered. I had a pair of basketball shorts. Waterproof vinyl is waterproof vinyl, right? <laughs> no? My lady said, no. You can't wear that. You don't want to be trashy. That's the lion, folks. Long has society pondered socioeconomic inequality. <laughs> but the line between the haves and the have-nots, between trashy and classy, is whether or not you have little mesh panties inside of your swim shorts. <laughs> See, <laughs> only the uneducated proletariat <laughs> swims in their own underwear. <laughs> the bourgeois <laughs> swim from an ivory tower, their genitals safely netted in fine silken mesh, <laughs> like a fisherman's trammel teeming with banana prawn. <laughs> banana prawn are like shrimp, but more dickier. <laughs> I went to a funeral. That's not funny, that's sad. That's my last one. My mom's here, I'm sorry, I'm not going to another one. A f funeral is in direct opposition to my personal meaning of life, which is to forget that I'm going to die. <laughs> Everything I do is for that. If I'm watching Turner and Hooch, <laughs> beating off to the news, it's all just distraction. Just to forget that it's all meaningless. But I can't forget when I'm staring at a box of ex-grandpa. I can't forget that that's me in the future. All dolled up like a silent movie villain. Absorbent tissue in all of my holes. So my ghost can't even get out. Science has proven it takes two weeks for the ghost to get out through that shit. That's like two weeks I'm not doing my Swayze spectral shenanigans. Who moved that cup? Woo That's the kind of shit a ghost gets into on a Friday night. Hey, Spooky Joe, what you doing this weekend? 
don't know, man. Jiggling some curtains. <laughs> what about you? I don't know. Just going to yell hello at a frequency that you can only pick up on a 1980s Sony cassette player played backwards. <laughs> I'm Donald Gibson, thank you. <laughs>